My early childhood was uh, uh, unusual. My mom and dad, because I wasn't getting good grades, would talk to the teachers, but basically nobody understood why I wasn't getting good grades, except that they assumed that I just wasn't smart. I, they assumed that, th that I just didn't understand or comprehend. People in the 40s did not have any idea what dyslexia was. And I had a form of dyslexia that reversed all the words when I tried to read. So my ability to comprehend was very, very limited. And my mother and father were sympathetic to the fact, but they didn't know how to deal with it. Uh, my defense mechanism for that was to become as good an athlete as I could become. The coach at Niagara University contacted me and offered me a, a basketball scholarship to Niagara. And I lasted in college about six months before I academically flunked out. When I came out of the military, I had the GI Bill. I was at St. Joseph's University when I met a Jesuit professor. He taught me to manage my dyslexia. MetLife offered me an opportunity to go to work for them. And 22 weeks later, I was their top salesman out of 29,000 salesmen. I said to my wife, this business is easy. And I said, I want to start my own company. And I found a little office on a second floor walk up over a bakery. Uh, the hard thing to do was to separate the love for my family from the love of my business. And I was prepared to sacrifice for the benefit of the company. We continue to expand. We have 50 offices today. Fortune Magazine in 2007 ranked us as one of the top 400 companies in America. It was 2008 when Tokyo Marine, the third largest insurance company in the world, called on us and said, would you be interested in merging? They gave us $5 billion, which was staggering. Offering scholarships to young students today is so important because education is the key to success. What Horatio Alger Association is doing is offering that opportunity to these young people. You know, to be successful, you gotta love what you're doing. I think you've got to show up every day with a business plan. You've gotta give an equal measure of time to your religion, to your personal life, and to your business life. It's a balance. The other thing I think is extremely important is you gotta dream. You have to believe what you are and you have to become what you believe.